Welcome back to another Zincast, and today we're going to be talking about what everyone on social media is going to be talking about. Springing forward, of course. You know, when we change our clocks so that this way we're late to everything all week and our internal clocks are off so we feel rushed about everything. Hold on, hold on. One second. Yeah, hello? Yeah, I'm, I'm filming. Oh, you're, oh, you're watching. Oh. Um, what do you mean, what am I talking about? I'm talking about springing forward. No, I wasn't going to mention the snowstorm because we, weren't we doing the thing where if we don't talk about the snowstorm, it might actually come? No, we're not doing that thing? Want me to start this all over? No one cares about the top clock change, huh? Okay, okay, thanks. All right, well, I guess I'll just take it from the top. Welcome back to another Zincast, and today we're going to be talking about what everybody on social media is going to be talking about. A possible snowstorm. Yeah, that's right. We have a possible snowstorm. Monday night, the Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday range, okay? Um, timing, we're, we'll work out the timing. We'll get into the fine details, but not today. This is a little bit quick, guys, because you're going to be seeing a lot of maps, okay? Snow maps weather model apps and by the way that time change I am gonna bring it back up because the weather models they still all run at the same time so now that everything is an hour later it's an hour later for them which really is horrible when you're trying to stay up for an overnight model but I digress let's get back into the potential storm look this this was coming in January February I mean I would say this is game on lock it in you know like almost it almost feels like a traditional nor'easter <laughs> it's got hints of it the key thing is that we're in the march sun angle so at this point you got to be really careful with with the snow maps that you see because the models don't take in that don't take that in consideration the other thing is it's not just about the track it's also about how the storm intensifies so as the storm intensifies off the coast it wraps in the cold air which then, if it could pull that in and, and get that further south, then we have a snowier solution in places like New York City, Rockland County. I think upstate, the Catskills region, you guys are, are primed for an all snow event, no matter what. But again, Rockland County on south, you're, you're in that danger zone. The storm does not ramp up and intensify, bomb out off the coast, and that cold air does not filter in and and you're going to start as rain and you're probably going to end as rain at that point but if it can so that's what i'm saying like, like the storm it's not just about oh if the track is here will be snow no the track has to be right and the storm has to intensify properly in the right spot or else it's a non-event so yeah it, it is a dicey road it is a fine line you're walking that razor blade and and it's it's something we have to watch but perfect scenario we can be measuring this one in feet right we could be saying it's uh 12 to 18 inches if perfect scenario right but that's not a forecast because we're still way too early to tell but i will have a snow map and we'll see right now i'd say hey let's put six to twelve out there potential i definitely think new york city Rockland County area, uh, Rockland County down south, uh, you're definitely starting off as rain um, as the storm starts moving into the area, but then as it intensifies, it wraps in the cold air and it changes snow. That's what the models are hinting at. And if that can happen, then we're talking uh, about an, a significant snowstorm, specifically for areas that have not seen a significant snowstorm. But again, March sun angle, you got to tone down those ratios. So normally, when you're looking at a snowfall map like this, and again, this is not a forecast, this is just computer printout, clown maps. When you're looking at one of these, they're in 10 to one ratio. So for every one inch of liquid, it's 10 inches of snow. But with March, Sunday, or mid-March, right? <laughs> uh, you, you're gonna have to cut those down. It might be seven to one, right? That means you're only getting seven inches for one inch of liquid. So you could see how this could change up uh, you can't just look at that and, and have verbatim. So we gotta see when is the snow gonna be falling? During the day, is it at night? We gotta work out timing, we gotta work out track, we gotta work out intensity. There's so much to do with the storm. It could still be a complete miss and just go out to sea, right? Maybe a passing shower and that's all you see. So 
There's a lot to do, a lot of work, and we're gonna watch it and we're gonna stay up for the even later models now. Because normally, let's say if a model normally ran at 10 p.m. or 11 p.m., now it's midnight. If it normally ran at 1 a.m., now it's 2 a.m. A lot of sleepless nights in March, apparently, are in store. <laughs> well, at least, at least one or two sleepless nights. So we will track the storm and I will post the snow map if necessary probably tomorrow at some time and we'll do a more technical discussion from the weather lab rather than the weather studio. Anyway, listen, I think I've already made this video too long. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on all my other social media platforms and uh, comment below. Do you just want winter to end? It's March now, right? You just want the, the jacket weather, right? The, you know, the light jacket weather where you could open up some windows or do you want a big traditional snowstorm? Put it in the comments and have a good one, everyone.